Hwene National Park formerly Wanki Game Reserve is the largest natural reserve in Zimbabwe. The park lies in the west, on the main road between Bulawayo and the Victoria Falls and near Tadit. History of the park It was founded in 1928, with the first warden being by the 22-year-old Ted Davison. He befriended the Manchester-born James Jones who was the stationmaster for the then Rhodesian Railways at Deet which is very near Hawane Main Camp. Jones managed incoming supplies for the park. This park is considered for inclusion in the Five Nation Kavango, Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area. Poaching incidents In 2011, nine elephants, five lions and two buffaloes were killed by poachers. In October 2013 it was discovered that poachers killed a large number of African elephants with cyanide after poisoning their waterhole. Conservationists have claimed the incident to be the largest illegal killing of animals in southern Africa in 25 years. Two aerial surveys were carried to determine the extent of the deaths, and 19 carcasses were identified in the first survey and a further 84 carcasses in the second survey. Three of the poachers were caught, arrested, tried, convicted and sentenced. All royal game and elephant poaching offences now have a mandatory nine-year sentence and the supply chain is also targeted. <laughs> Cecil and Zanda hunting incidents On or about 1 July 2015, Cecil, a lion who had lived on Hawane National Park for 13 years, was killed. This action spurred widespread social media coverage and a petition calling for Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe to outlaw big game hunting permits. Walter Palmer, the admitted killer of Cecil, had a permit and was not charged with any crime, as all his papers were in order. Authorities in Zimbabwe have said he is free to visit the country. Charges were initially laid against Theo Bronckhorst, Palmer's guide, for failing to stop an illegal hunt, but these were later thrown out of court. Two years after Cecil's killing, his son Zanda met a similar fate. Unlike that of his father, Zanda's killing was not termed illegal, though it did provoke outrage. <laughs> <laughs> Features Flora The park is close to the edge of the Kalahari Desert, a region with little water and very sparse, xerophile vegetation. The Kalahari woodland is dominated by Zambezi teak, sand camwood and Kalahari bahinia. Seasonal wetlands form grasslands in this area. The north and northwest of the park are dominated by mopane woodland, although it has been argued that elephant populations cause change in vegetation structure. Some recent studies suggest that this is not the case, even with the large increases in elephant population recorded in the late 1980s. Topic: <laughs> Flora and fauna. The park hosts over 100 mammal and 400 bird species, including 19 large herbivores and 8 large carnivores. All Zimbabwe's specially protected animals are to be found in Hawane and it is the only protected area where gemsbok and brown hyena occur in reasonable numbers. Grazing herbivores are more common in the main camp wild area and Linkwasha concession area, with mixed feeders more common in the robins and Sonomatella wild areas, which are more heavily wooded. Distribution fluctuates seasonally, with large herbivores concentrating in areas where intensive water pumping is maintained during the dry season. The population of the Cape wild dogs to be found in Hawane is thought to be of one of the larger surviving groups in Africa today, along with that of Kruger National Park and Selu Game Reserve. Other major predators include the lion, whose distribution and hunting in Hawane is strongly related to the pans and waterholes. Since 2005, the protected area is considered a lion conservation unit together with the Okavango Delta, African leopard, spotted hyena and cheetah are also present in the protected area. Elephants have been enormously successful in Hawane and the population has increased to far above that naturally supported by such an area. This population of elephants has put a lot of strain on the resources of the park. 
There has been a lot of debate on how to deal with this, with parks authorities implementing culling to reduce populations, especially during 1967 to 1986. The elephant population doubled in the five years following the end of culling in 1986. National Park Scientific Services co ordinates two major conservation and research projects in the park National Leopard Project, which is surveying numbers of leopard to obtain baseline data for later comparative analysis with status of leopard in consumptive hunting areas and communal land bordering the national park. This is carried out at Hawane in conjunction with the Wildlife Conservation and Research Unit of Oxford University and the Deet Animal Rescue Trust, a registered wildlife conservation trust. Painted Dog Project The project aims to protect and increase the range and numbers of African wild dog both in Zimbabwe and elsewhere in Africa, and operates through the Painted Dog Conservation Organization in Deet. Birds This overview is only one indication of the diversity of birds in the park and is not a complete list. Topic: <laughs> Geography and Geology. Most of the park is underlain by Kalahari sands. In the northwest there are basalt lava flows of the Batoka formation stretching from south of Bumbu Sea to the Botswana border. In the north central area, from Sanamatela going eastwards, there are granites and gneisses of the Kamadivi Deet Inlier, and smaller inliers of these rocks are found within the basalts in the northwest. The north and northwest of the park are drained by the Deka and Lukosi rivers and their tributaries, and the far south of the park is drained by the Gwabadzabuya River, a tributary of the Nata River. There are no rivers in the rest of the park, although there are fossil drainage channels in the main camp and Linkwasha areas, which form seasonal wetlands. In these areas without rivers, grassy pan depressions and pans have formed. Some of these pans, such as many of the pans in the Shumba area, fill with rainwater, while others, such as Nguesla, Shakwanki and Nahimba, are fed by natural groundwater seeps. Many of the pans are additionally supplied by water pumped from underground by park authorities. <laughs> Archaeological, historical and cultural sites The Bumbusi National Monument, comprising ruins and rock carvings, is located on the northern edge of the park. There are also ruins at MTOA and rock carvings at Didima. <laughs> Places of interest <laughs> Main camp area Umchibi Camp, the headquarters of the Park Maintenance Unit MTOA Ruins and Pan Dopi Vlei, a fossil river containing Dopi Pan Kennedy Vlei, a fossil river also known as Masumamalisa, containing the Kennedy I, Kennedy II named after Sir John Noble Kennedy, Governor of Southern Rhodesia and Masumamalisa Somalisa Pans Manga Vlei, a fossil river also known as Amanga, containing the Manga Pans Nyamanlovu Pan the name refers to elephant meat and game viewing platform, one of the most popular game viewing sites. Guvalala Pan and game viewing platform, rehabilitated by scouts from Kent, UK in the 1990s Dom Pan, where lion are often seen Chivasa Pan Longan Pans, named after the chief cook during the first warden's time Nguesla Pan, a waterhole heavily frequented by games since before the park's proclamation. Shapi Pan, another waterhole heavily frequented by games since before the park's proclamation and former headquarters of the park maintenance unit. Sibaya Pan. Topic: <laughs> Sanamatela area. Chihuato Springs, a mineral spring northwest of Sanamatela on the Bumbusi Road. Dabashoro Spring, a mineral spring west of Sanamatela Salt Springs Chikabaka Hot Springs, a thermal spring east of Sanamatela Lukosi River Mandavu Dam and Picnic Site Masuma Dam, with a thatched shelter overlooking the dam, as well as a camping ground and picnic site New Inyantu Dam Tishampani Dam Dandari Dandaro Vlei, 
Plains and Pan Kapula Vlei Tariga Triga Vlei, a fossil river Shuma Pans, a series of waterholes heavily frequented by games since before the park's proclamation, with a hide and picnic site Nahimba Pan Tishampani Pan Robbins Camp area Didima Dam, hide and picnic site Didima Fossil Forest, silsified didoxalon trunks Deca River, with crocodile pools hide Chingahobi River, a tributary of the Deca River and Chingahobi Dam Mahahoma River, a tributary of the Deca River Tom's Vlei and River, a tributary of the Deca River, named after the hunter Tom Saddler. Big Tom's and Little Tom's pans and hides are on the river. Mbejane pan, near the head of the Dandari Vlei. <laughs> Linkwasha concession area Inkwazi Vlei, a fossil river. Makalolo Pans and Plains Somavuan La Pan <inaudible> Jivanini Wilderness Area Liputi Libuti Camp and Well. The name means a meeting place Kordoziba Gate Nada River Gwabazabuya River Limpandi Dam Jivanini Sabanini Pan and Mudflats Topic: Shakwanki Wilderness Area. Shakwanki Pan. The name means ear and is a reference to its shape. Tamasanka Pan. On the Hunter's Road from Tati to Empandamatenga. Xixi Amabandi Pan. Topic: Samhole Wilderness Area. Samhole Samahol Pan and Fire Tower, on the edge of extensive mudflats. The name refers to a waterhole owned by two people. Bumbumutsa Pan, the name means bumble bee. Reedbuck Vlei, at the headwaters of the Deca River. Topic. Accommodation and camping The park has three large rest camps and four smaller permanent camps. Main camp This is the park headquarters, in the northeast, easily accessible by Tard Road from the main Bulawayo Victoria Falls Road. There are a variety of self-catering accommodation, camping and caravan sites, a bar and restaurant and a supermarket. Sonomatela Camp Sonomatela is in the north, several hours drive through the park from main camp, or a shorter journey on a dirt road from the main Bulawayo-Victoria Falls Road. Set on an escarpment above a waterhole, overlooking miles of bush. The camps has similar accommodation and camping facilities to main camp and a kiosk. <laughs> Robbins Camp Robbins is in the northwest, and has self-catering accommodation and camping sites but no other facilities. The camp is based around the old clock tower of the farm of Harold Robbins, donated to the park in 1939. <laughs> Nantwich Camp Nantwich is located near Robbins Camp, and has three self-catering lodges, built on a bluff overlooking a pan. The lodges were not functional, and in a serious state of decay, in August 2013. Bumbusi Exclusive Camp Bumbusi is an exclusive camp for one party at a time, comprising self-catering accommodation for up to 12 persons. It is located 12 km northwest of Sonomatela, near the Deca River and the Bumbusi National Monument. Lukosi Exclusive Camp 
This is an exclusive camp for one party at a time, comprising self-catering accommodation for up to ten persons. It is located 10 km east of Sanamatela, near the Lukosi River and is only open in the rainy season. Dekka Exclusive Camp This is an exclusive camp for one party at a time, comprising self-catering accommodation for up to 12 persons. It is located 25 km west of Robbins, in headwaters of the Dekka River and requires four-wheel drive for access. <laughs> Bush camps These are remote camping sites with no facilities, for one party at a time. The bush camps are Lukosi, on the Lukosi River east of Sanamatela Vihakani Rhino Bar, east of Sanamatela and north of Shumba Salt Springs, near a dam southeast of Robbins Chikabaka, near Hot Springs east of Sanamatela, four-wheel drive required. Camping and picnic sites In addition, overnight camping is permitted at picnic sites and some of the platforms overlooking waterholes. Bookings must be made in advance with the National Parks Board. Camping is restricted to one party at a time and during the day, the facilities are open to all visitors. The sites are Nyamanlovu Platform, Guvalala Platform, Kennedy One Picnic Site. Jambil Picnic Site Naguesla Camp Shumba Camp Masuma Camp, a fully fenced site with two flush toilets, a shower and hide overlooking the dam Mandavu Dam Didima Dam Hide <laughs> Privately operated camps and sites There are a number of privately operated tented camps and lodges within access to the park. Davison's Camp, in the far southeastern corner of the park, comprises nine tents overlooking a waterhole. Giraffe Springs, south of Shapi Pan in the central part of the park, is a tented camp overlooking Giraffe Pan. There are ten luxury tents, each with a viewing platform. Malindi Station Safari Lodge, adjacent to Kennedy Concession and neighboring the 72 miles of perfectly straight railway line and the Hawane National Park, is a converted rail carriage lodge built in the form of a railway station, opened in 2015. The thatched lodge is set overlooking two waterholes, and consists of six rooms within three tastefully converted Rhodesian railway carriages. The lodge offers full board with bird watching, game drives, and bush walks. The Hyde, between Kennedy One Pan and the railway line, is a tented camp opened in 1992. The camp is set in acacia woodland with views over a waterhole, and consists of ten luxury tents. Kapula Lodge, on the Kapula Vlei near Masuma Dam, consists of four luxury tents. The camp is self-catering. Makalolo Plains Camp, east of Nguesla Pan, consists of two camps, one with nine rooms and one with five. Each camp is on raised platforms with elevated boardwalks, overlooking a waterhole. Linkwasha Camp is east of Makalolo, on a wide grassy plain. Somalisa Camp is west of Nguesla, in the Kennedy Vlei and consists of two camps, one with six tents and one with four tents, each overlooking a pan. <laughs> Proposed camps Long-term planning provides for the establishment of four further rest camps Chikabaka, currently a bush camp, east of Sanamatela Two sites in the Linkwasha area, in the east of the park, currently a concession area Liputi in the far south Gallery <laughs>